Ready or not, football is almost here with the Bengals set to play the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday. Hi again, everyone. I'm James Erpine with AllBengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk with my fresh new t-shirt courtesy of Rivertown Inquiry. Sunday against the Vikings, it's going to come down to a few things. And there's going to be a lot of talk about Dalvin Cook. But to me, this is about the other side of the ball. This is about Joe Burrow. How does he look? How comfortable is he? Does this downfield passing game look like we hoped it would the day they took Jamar Chase? Does the interior of this offensive line hold up? To me, the Bengals, all season long, they're going to have to win games with this offense. And they're going up against a Mike Zimmer-led defense that has a lot to prove. They have good linebackers, certainly some good edge rushers, and a corner in Patrick Peterson who's looking to revive his career in Minnesota. And are they able to slow down Joe Burrow? Are they able to slow down Zach Taylor's offense in scheme? Do the Bengals, after literally three plays that were all scripted during the preseason, are they able to hold up? And if so, I think the Bengals are going to be in this game. Now, the flip side, of course, you're going to have to try to contain. You're not going to be able to stop him, but contain Dalvin Cook. And this is where the loss of Trey Waynes to me, hurts a decent amount. I think having Trey Waynes on the boundary, uh, a corner like that, not even just in coverage, but his tackling, tackling on the edge with a guy like Dalvin Cook who likes to break it out, they run to the edges. And so there's a lot of outside runs, sort of this wide zone scheme, a little different than the Bengals' wide zone. But still, that's what they're going to do with Dalvin Cook. You have to slow him down. And then Justin Jefferson – And Adam Thielen, you know, it's funny looking back at the 2020 draft class, I was really high on Justin Jefferson. And I remember writing for all Bengals about how Justin Jefferson would be great in Cincinnati. And obviously he didn't fall to the Bengals at 33. They got T. Higgins, which worked out quite well for Cincinnati. But Minnesota ecstatic that they basically traded Stephon Diggs for Justin Jefferson, who's younger and cheaper over the next few years and had 1,400 yards receiving. Bengals are going to have their hands full. And the one thing I could say is if you slow down Cook, you're probably putting Kirk Cousins in third and, you know, medium, third and long, which is something you certainly feel good about. To me, though, when I think about this game, I lean Vikings. I I just do. I think that the Vikings are going to find a way to win this game. And really, it's a close game. Well, what do we know about Zach Taylor? He hasn't had a lot of success in close games. So call me crazy. Call me a party pooper. Call me whatever you want. But I think that the Minnesota Vikings are going to handle business on Sunday against the Cincinnati Bengals. It'll be close. Uh, Let's say 24-20, Minnesota finds a way to get it done. Evan McPherson, we see Mr. Money a couple times kicking a couple field goals. But unfortunately, the offense stalls a little bit in the first half, gets off to a sluggish start, and they're unable to keep things up. But look, could I be wrong? Absolutely, I could be wrong. Be sure, by the way, to check out my game-by-game predictions for all 17 games in one spot right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. As always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on game day.